What's up YouTube? Thanks for watching Ask My Auto Mechanic. In this video, we're going to show you guys how to fix the red brake light staying on your Ford truck. All right, so if your red brake light is staying on on your Ford truck, there's right about four possibilities, four or five. So if your brake fluid is low, that can cause it to come on. So make sure your brake fluid is topped off and repair any leaks. Uh, there's also a little sensor inside the brake um, fluid reservoir inside the uh, master cylinder that can short out. Uh, you can also have a problem with wiring. Uh, another option is right on the parking brake uh, assembly, that mechanism there, there's a switch on there that can short out and go bad. However, mostly what I see and what we're going to repair in this video is a short inside the instrument cluster. All right guys, to verify your truck has this problem, remove the plastic trim panel around your instrument cluster and apply pressure to the wiring connector that plugs into the top left corner and push the connector firmly towards the front of the truck and also pull it back towards you. If the light's going on and off, then this is your problem and you have a problem with the solder on the circuit board and I'll show you how to fix this problem right now. Start by completely removing the instrument cluster. Find a clean flat area that you can sit down and repair the cluster. As far as the tools you'll need, you'll need a lower watt soldering iron, a panel popper or a fork to pry the needles off the board. You'll also need some masking tape and a black sharpie. Take the clear plastic cover up by prying up the little plastic tabs with a flat headed screwdriver. Carefully go all the way around the cluster. Then take masking tape and a black sharpie and mark the starting position of each gauge needle. By pushing the needles back and forth and putting a black mark on each starting point. It's very important you do this so that your gauges will maintain their accuracy. Carefully pop each needle off the stepper motors. If you pop the needle off the plastic frame like I did, you'll have to carefully glue or plastic weld that back together. Once you have all the needles removed, remove all the screws to the white plastic cover on the back. Remove the plastic cover and carefully unlock the circuit board from the two locking tabs and pull it straight up. Those locking tabs hold in a wiring connector that you'll have to be sure that you line the metal pins back up to the connector on the circuit board so that your odometer display and other functions stay working. Now that you have the circuit board out, you'll need to locate the broken solder point. It's extremely hard to see the crack in the solder. However, it will crack on the left side of the resistor that has the 821 right there. Carefully solder each side of the resistor, applying solder to both sides. Go ahead and apply two small spots of solder on each side. Now it's time to reinstall the needles. Put the needle on at the 12 o'clock position and push the needle back and forth a few times, forcing the needle to start at the starting point. Make sure to take your time to get this right. Also, do not push the needle all the way down, forcing it onto the cluster. Make sure there's a small gap between the cluster and the needle so that it's not rubbing into the plastic as it moves. Line all the needles up, put the cluster back together and reinstall it in the truck. Verify the light goes out.